Hello there, and it's a beautiful summer's day here in Beira, so I'm going to work outside for a while. And today I want to talk about paper making, homemade paper making. And it's so simple, it's wonderful. The biggest problem is that there's so many different ways and different ingredients. So what, I, so what I'm going to do today is show you the simplest way, the easiest way, and the cheapest way for paper making. And, and what I'll do then is make a few more videos uh, with different ideas and what you can come up with. So basically to start you need to make a pulp and it's so easy. All you need is a roll of toilet paper. Now people will say you're using paper to make paper but we'll work on that again this is the easiest way to do it. And of course ripping out a roll of toilet roll is uh, very decadent and wonderful. So if you have a young person in the house or even a puppy they uh, will delight ripping it apart. So what I'm going to do, I've got a roll of, of toilet roll here that I've ripped out and I'm tearing it up into pieces and I have it in a dish and I'm just going to pour a kettle of boiling water onto the tissue paper. So you can see it gets quite small. Now what I would normally do is leave this overnight just to soak up the water maybe put another kettle in after a while and then if you have a blender, it's perfect just to give it a run of the blender to make it um, a real mush. Uh, if you don't have a blender, I would cut the tissue as small as possible or tear the tissue as small as possible. So while the water is settling down, I'm going to make some frames. Now usually uh, people make wooden frames, but to begin with, I find these little disposable ones are the handiest to use. And again, they are disposable, so you only use them once. So I'm afraid if you want 24 pieces of paper, you have to make 24 frames. I'm, going to, I'm just going to make three here today. Um, I you got this square shape from an envelope because I'd like to make some greeting cards. So I cut out the shape. I have two centimeters or half an inch or an inch around that measurement there. It's two centimeters and you can't really go much bigger than that because it will get floppy when it gets wet. So then what I'm going to do is some J-clots here. Just lay out your cardboard frame on the J-cloth and just staple the two together. And what I do is I staple two sides and then you know you can just cut the J cloth doesn't have to be too exact. And then you staple the rest of it. So just make sure the J cloth is nice and taut. So there you go. There's your frame. You make as many of them as you want. So now we just have a very plain dish, uh, a kitchen sink dish, and full of cold, well, half full of cold water. And then I'm just going to put in the pulp. Now I might just put in half. We might need more. We might. That's going to give it a fairly strong consistency. So you can see after breaking all the paper down, it's in bits. Now again, you're basically ready to make paper, but I'm going to put a few more extra things in it. And I've just got some flowers, a rose, some petals that I picked yesterday, so they look a little bit tired, but that's okay. I have some chives that I got from the garden, and some calendulas that I've growing as well, some marigolds. So you have your mixture, you have your frames, and now it's time to make some paper. So the best thing to do is just get your frame, put it in sideways, Swirl it around and bring it straight up. Now I can leave these on the footpath to dry, but if you were doing it inside, I'd leave, um, I'd put them on a folded towel so they soak up any excess water and watch again. So you can see that you, you could make a, quite a lot of paper from one dish. 
you could make so I'm just going to make the three here so now uh, just like magic here's one I prepared earlier you can see the petals are dying off a little bit but they'll, they'll stay there in the paper so what you do now I left it overnight it's dry so you just basically peel off the J cloth gently as gently as you can so again very gently just take it out of the cardboard try and keep the shape but if it tears it just gives it that look of being natural now you can see these ends here you can decide to leave them or you can decide to cut them whichever it's up to yourself so there we go the most basic homemade paper so how I'm going to use this this piece of paper that I've just made I'm going to get some PVA glue and give it a good coating on the back just press it down you might need to um, put a book on it for a while just to keep it but it should stay and there we go you have a greeting card made with homemade paper so I hope you enjoyed our first journey into paper making as I say I'm going to do a few more videos just building up and using different techniques and different ways of decorating the paper so you will really get a good feel please try and make your paper and always subscribe to the channel thank you ever so much